so that whatever does try and move toward the U.S. would stay away from us. That right now is tropical depression number seven. As I'd mentioned at the top of the newscast, you have strong wind shear out ahead of it. So it's right now in a fairly hostile environment and the computers are not going with an aggressively developing system at all. A lot of thunderstorms at the moment. It's taking advantage of a fairly moist atmosphere around the storm itself. But note that the Hurricane Center kind of maintains it just barely becoming a tropical storm either late tonight, early tomorrow as it approaches the islands, basically moving due west for the next three to almost four days. By days four and five, we should begin to see more of a turn toward the uh, Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas, maybe in the direction of the East Coast, if it doesn't take a more dramatic turn, perhaps keeping it away from the East Coast altogether. Here's what the models are saying. In the near future, again, pretty good agreement. Then we start to get a little bit more spread, but the consensus of the models is making that more dramatic turn. And both the Euro and the GFS and their ensemble members are all saying the same thing. This scenario one, basically upper ridging is gonna build across the central Atlantic and the storm is gonna follow that along with a break in the high and allow it to turn into it, keeping it away from the United States. There is still the possibility scenario that this storm stays so weak, doesn't really follow along that high, doesn't get picked up by this trough, and it just keeps moving toward the west. However, most of the model agreement, as you just saw, is favoring more of this turn away from the United States altogether. That would be a great scenario for us. But as I also mentioned right now, it is surrounded by dry air and wind shear, and that dry air and wind shear are going to plague this storm for at least the next three to five days. So it's not going to do much in the near future. It is something to watch, certainly, but at the moment, doesn't look like it is a threat for us and certainly not a threat for this weekend as we'll be a little more humid, 